a beginner in ethical hacking and Linux? Are you spending significant time to find how things work in Linux? This video is for you. In this video, I show you how to use Shell GPT in the Kali Linux terminal. Stay tuned. Shell GPT is a command line productivity tool powered by an AI large language model. Shell GPT is a Python program that connects you to the OpenAI library via API and help you with shell commands, coding, and other possible tasks. Kali Linux is a framework designed for ethical hackers and preloaded with tools to support different use cases. You can learn more about Kali Linux in our previous video. Sip your coffee. And let's start. First step is creating an OpenAI API key to connect our Shell GPT to the OpenAI library. In your computer browser, go to platform.openai.com. If you don't have an account, sign up for a free account. You register with your email address and verify your phone number for using the service for free. Then, log in to your account, go to API References, click on API key, and create a new secret key. Add a name and copy the key in a safe place. We need it later to use Shell GPT. Now let's go to Kali Linux terminal. First, ensure your system is updated. Then we go for prerequisites. As Shell GPT is a Python program, we need to install Python 3 in our machine. Next, we install pip, a Python package manager tool to be able to install Shell GPT. Wait until it's completed and drink your coffee. You might need lots of coffee. Then, install JQ, which is a query language built specifically for interacting with JSON type data. In a terminal, install shell GPT via pip command. When it's installed, go to the directory where all binaries are exist, cd local bin. Wait until installation completed. Next, execute the python3 sgpt command. First time, it asks for the OpenAI API key, which we have created in the beginning. You copy your API key in the terminal. As I didn't write any prompt, you can see the error I get. You also could copy the API key to the file config shell gpt sgptrc on API key. In order to run shell GPT in terminal, you need to be in the right directory. You can also add the path to the end of the file bash rc so you can access shell GPT from everywhere. And you don't need to be worried for which directory you are in. Now we are all set. Sip your coffee. Let's test how it works. SGPT dash dash help is a good start. For example, for shell command, you can use dash dash shell 
and prompt or using just dash s. Let's check the file permission in the current directory. The output is a shell command. You have three options. Select E will execute the shell command. If you select D, it will describe the shell command. And if you select A, it will abroad. Let's try to create a test directory. I ask shell GPT to create a test directory for me. And by pushing E, it will run. Now you see the test directory has been created. I want to check if Nmap is installed. Shell GPT showing me the command Nmap dash dash version. If it's installed, it shows you the installed version. Otherwise, you get the command not found. You can use this in for any tools in any Linux distribution. So let's ask Shell GPT to install Nmap on my Kali Linux. It's executed the command and yay, it's installed. Isn't it easy? As I showed you, you can use Shell GPT in a terminal and ask it to help you for a different task you want to do instead of searching in browser. It saves significant time, especially if you are a beginner. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.